hi guys or oh, welcome back to my channel it's Lelo here or oh, welcome if you a returning subscriber hi how y'all doing and if you are new welcome to my channel i hope at the end of this video you will like and subscribe we are on 78 subscribers as i'm recording this video so I am so happy we are on the road to 100 subbies and I am so excited. So, <laughs> today's topic, but before I get into it, I was trying to show you guys this beautiful message. I'll just read it even though you, you can't see, I thought it will be visible. It says, running to God should be your first response, not your last resort boom that's all i can say <laughs> so in this video actually i have like a whole lot oh snap <laughs> sorry about that I actually to say I because uh, i've been somebody tried me somebody tried me and normally i'm not the one to go after someone who tries me but <laughs> I thought that this is very typical of people who have this idea that Christians are perfect, that Christians are not allowed to make mistakes, that Christians, I don't know, are supposed to act like angels. You understand? So how can okay, just get into this? So there was... I was on Facebook and somebody shared a tweet actually so the tweet read and I shared it also so the tweet the tweet read Jesus ate with sinners he didn't support their lifestyle but it didn't stop him from loving them so she me her said this is facts Jesus ate with sinners he didn't support their lifestyle but it didn't stop him from loving them so i shared because i believed in what the tweet is saying i agree in what the tweet is saying then someone who tried me i didn't even respond to that comment actually it's in my home language let me just say it she she was like i don't know how i'm gonna translate it i can just translate it she said it's funny because you, Bosobolelo, me, you guys are, are so judgmental. Something around those lines. And then she was saying, when I asked her why she was saying that, I didn't comment like on the post. I just spoke to the person, you know, privately, like why is she saying that? And it's because of the decisions that I made or someone I know made with regards to, to their dating life so what had happened was there's this one colleague who was sharing with me that she ended things with her boyfriend because she felt like she and the guy she and the guy were unequally yoked so for anybody who's gonna ask what is unequally yoked for me unequally yoked means sharing the same set of beliefs and values so she felt like it's a waste of time to be in a relationship with that type of person because they are unequally yoked and basically the relationship won't go anywhere so the person was like i am we are being judgmental for doing that and i was like what is the meaning of judgmental because we hear it a lot that Christians are so judgmental one thing that I would like to make clear is that I don't know for other Christians but for myself for me being a Christian means that I am a sinner I agree I acknowledge that I'm a sinner and I acknowledge the fact that I won't be able to overcome my sinful nature or certain things by my own strength that's why I need Jesus on the daily to get through everything that I am going through so I don't know who told people that we Christians act holier than thou or whatever 
I'm so annoyed. I don't even believe I'm addressing, but I need to address it because I had enough. Okay, so I was like, let me search the word judgmental because people seem to be using it loosely. So judgmental is having or display an overly critical point of view. Similar to it, it means finding fault. So then I started having conversation with people around me about, you know, being judgmental and stuff like that. I am, I'm going to apologize right now if this video is going to be long and if it seems like I am taking forever to get to the point. But you know, when you're passionate about something, you know, we're going to get through it. You will get my point. So one person was like okay i remember the other person the other friend of mine shared that she was in a similar situation that she had to dump a guy because they were unequally yoked the guy was doing things that she did not personally agree with and the guy was forcing her to do things that she didn't really agree with like clubbing you know doing all of those things drinking alcohol and stuff like that she is not the type so she was like hmm, maybe it was the wrong idea to do this and then my very smart boyfriend was like in terms of the that conversation he was like if someone is drowning and you yourself you don't know how to swim how are you going to save that person question how are you going to save that person if you yourself you yourself you don't know how to swim abby that's a question and i was like this is why i'm dating this guy because he is smart how will i save someone who is drowning when me myself and i can't swim i don't know i don't know how to get myself out of that situation that's why i am depending on jesus to save me from drowning i cannot go in the water or a dolphin or something and act like an, i am also gonna drown while try trying to save you okay so it doesn't work whatsoever and then this other good friend of mine nelly she made a very important point which i feel like is very important for me to share is that most of the time when we go into relationships we go with the mindset of you are going to change that person or that person will change stuff like that she was like that is the first mistake that we make as soon as while you're on the talking basis before you start dating you should really try to know the person if you can see already that mm, he stays late at night goes clubbing goes drinking he does everything that you are uh, that you don't believe in then that is the time for you to stop everything before it goes somewhere because as soon as we enter the relationship with the mindset that they're going to change or you'll change them that's when we get it wrong and it you know blows up in our faces because you can't change anyone only the lord god almighty can do that so let's come down <laughs> so she was like that's why people judge christians based on our decisions because you know, of the mistakes that we make i would admit that i was one of those people who would date someone and be like he is actually a great guy but he's not a christian but i have faith that he will change or once he see how I act to things or how I carry myself, he will change. And what happened? It didn't happen. No. In fact, you cannot change any person. Only God can change a person and the person has to decide that they want to change. So that's when i decided to compile a dating 101 dating 
don't whether you're a christian or not i think it's important that you do as i say and not do as i do or as i did because these are all my past mistakes okay so let's get into it. so the first don't do not go into a relationship due to peer pressure she me her did that when i was a 15 mistakes we live and we learn when i was 15 i have never had a boyfriend and all my friends had boyfriends in fact everybody you know had boyfriends and girlfriends and i was like the only one and then i remember this one time we we're coming from the library and a bunch of guys came and joined us so it is too bad too, you know so she decided to date the guy on the spot not because she liked the guy or whatever but because everybody had a boyfriend and she had to be a part of that so don't do that start a relationship when you feel ready for me i'll say wait dating in high school and maybe in varsity is actually a waste of time you don't need it focus on your schoolwork that's all that i can say don't do that don't play yourself okay number two don't let anyone force you to do what you don't want to do luckily for me I didn't let that sorry I didn't let that person to force me even though he wanted us to okay let me just say it the I was 16 no yeah I think I was no I was 17 so I was 17 I was and no when I was 16 I started dating this guy my first serious boyfriend it was so serious I love that guy I thought he was like my he, I thought he was the one. What a joke. <laughs> I thought he was the one. And we dated for like a year or something. So the next year he was... Okay, I was 16, right? Yeah. So the next day he went to varsity and I was still in high school. So when my guy was in varsity... Nah. Obviously people do the things by the things i mean people have sex in university if you don't know people explore you understand so she may have was saving her so she was she was trying to force me or trying to change my mind of you know having sex and i was like i am not about that life to a point where he was like you know f you and i was like f you back you understand so the relationship ended because we couldn't agree on one thing which was i was saying no to sex and he was saying we need to start having sex and stuff like that and i was like deuces so my point is don't let anybody force you to do anything that you don't want to do whether going clubbing whether having sex whether i don't know anything that doesn't feel right with you don't do it to please another person okay the third one ditch the ghost what do i mean by ditch the ghost yeah ditch the ghost you know don't date a ghost ditch the ghost a ghost is for me it's someone who acts like a ghost you don't see them you don't hear from them but they will appear when they want to appear <laughs> if that makes sense okay let me just make it simple i was dating this guy guys don't say i'm a hoe i'm just trying to share my mistakes so that you guys don't have to go through what i went through you understand so don't say i was a hoe or something i'm not a hoe guys i'm not trust me <laughs> anyways more guy what happened I don't remember anyways what had happened was Muga, i was the one who was trying to like force the relationship i would call him i would ask when are we meeting up my guy never bothered to call me never bothered to initiate us meeting or stuff like that until i was realized girl stop playing yourself this guy is not that into you you need to stop so 
my advice if someone does not appreciate you or he doesn't go the extra mile for you you gotta ditch that ghost leave as soon as you can as soon as you smell one drop of unappreciation or i don't know of what leave you'll thank me later the fourth one yeah the fourth one is do not disregard your values for a relationship no matter how wonderful a person is you, if he doesn't give you peace or if it's conflicting your values and stuff like that you need to leave you need to let go honey the guy is amazing he's great he's fantastic you know what i'm saying but girl are you willing to sacrifice your peace for another person i beg ask you see if i'm keep on saying girl even guys i'm talking to everybody <laughs> i'm talking to everybody like if it does not give you peace bounds we are not here for that like no no it can miss me next give me a zero ma'am give me a zero no the uh, oh it's not the last one do not compromise your relationship with god for a relationship drops the mic <laughs> okay on a serious note like i i had relationships that would test me in terms of my walk with jesus like i remember this guy hey Busule. <laughs> this guy we're having like a serious conversation this happened like three years ago yeah maybe three years ago yeah three years ago i don't remember anyways maybe three years ago this guy there as usual i thought he was the one what a lie what a lie so uh he was like we're having a conversation and we had to like make a decision and i was like i can't make the decision right now please give me time to go and consult the man upstairs jesus and then i'll get back to you and he got irritated he was like why do you have to act so what did he say why do you have to consult jesus about everything it's just a simple decision yes or no are you coming or are you not going or stuff like that and i'm like no boo no see me here doesn't do that it doesn't matter how small the decision is i have to consult the men upstairs because i saw that if i make decision on my own what a disaster what a disaster so if the, you are in a relationship and my guy is compromising your relationship with god i think you better leave like asap like asap rocky <laughs> you have to leave i'm not playing you have to leave we are not about to stand for such things and the last one yeah the last one is do not allow to be a side chick or a side guy a side to meet a side pack a side whatever do not allow that first of all for me if you have watched my previous video i think it was the second video 10 weird facts about me i mentioned that i was a side chick and she me her didn't even know and luckily i didn't have to go through the the okay it was painful but at least i knew afterwards you understand so yeah my point is do not allow to be made a side chick or a side guy or side mid or side whatever you need to be a priority in someone's life if someone loves you he will go to the moon and back just for you he will catch a grenade for ya i don't know the lyrics of the song <laughs> but yeah but don't allow someone to make you an option you have to be a priority you have to be number one don't accept anything less of what than what you deserve basically so as usual in jenga mesa we have to add 
the gospel you know the word of god into this thing so let's go to the my favorite book <laughs> of second corinthians 6 verse 14 to 18 so it goes like do not be yoked together with unbelievers for what do righteousness and wickedness have in common or what fellowship can light have with darkness what harmony is there between christ and my god what a difficult word i'll write it down and you guys will find out what it is yes or what does a believer have in common with an unbeliever what agreement is there between the temple of god and idols for we are the temple of the living god as god has said i will live with them and walk among them and i will be their god and they will be my people therefore come out from them and be separated says the lord touch no unclean thing and i will receive you and i will be a father to you and you will be my sons and daughters says the holy the lord god almighty so the other one is <laughs> ephesians 5 verse 11 take no part in unfruitful works of darkness but instead expose them the reason i'm sharing those verses is because guys us as christians we are not judgmental maybe there are people who are judgmental but she me her is not judgmental i couldn't be understanding if she's actually judgmental take several seats my point is that we make the mistake like i've said earlier we make the mistake of thinking that we'll be able to change someone and we have come we have come to a realization that we cannot change a person only god can do that so now we can eat with sinners we can love them even though we don't support their lifestyle she me her i am a sinner you understand that's why i'm a christian i am a sinner I have failed God so many times and I continue to fail him but he is faithful we have to keep on running to him despite our weaknesses despite our our failures and everything wrong that we have done we have to keep on that's why we keep on running after him for him to help us out because we cannot do this whole life thing by ourselves so with that is the end of my long <laughs> video i think this is probably going to be the longest video ever but it's fine i have to say what i have to say and i hope you guys took something from it i hope you love it and i hope you will learn a thing or two from it so with that remember to like comment share and subscribe guys let's engage in the comment section i am ready like to answer any question that you have i am ready to you know comment to respond to your comments so remember to like comment share and subscribe yes guys so we will reach 100 subs very soon i have faith in you guys so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time same time yeah wednesday 10 o'clock i love you so much for watching and god bless you bye